Hello YouTube world. Sorry it's been a while since I made a video, uh, but here we are. It's April 25th, 2019, and I've had my dreads for about six years. So let me get right into it. Um, today I was actually going to make a video of me cutting my dreads off, um, you know, going for the uh, short buzz cut. However, I didn't do that. Uh, thankfully, because I watched a couple videos last night and for some reason was just didn't feel like cutting my dreads off. So here I am. I'm going to make a video, hopefully more often about dreads or even just about whatever I'm doing in life, maybe starting a, a small vlog. Um, <clears throat> but here we go. I'm just slightly dressed up today just because I was at work, chose to do the video while I was dressed up because why not let the world see someone who has dreadlocks that looks decently nice? Um, so yeah, here my hair is tied back. It's getting pretty long. Uh, you probably can't see how long it is right now, but uh, it's about to my um, it's about to my waist, honestly. Uh, <laughs> the back does kind of touch my butt, especially if I lean back like that. It, will easily touch my butt um, yeah it's really long so the bangs I've trimmed plenty of times probably three or four times uh, so far probably three times not four but um yeah this is how I look hopefully it's not too bad um, what else was I gonna say oh I don't do much maintenance if any maintenance um, I only maintain the front just whenever it gets a little bit too frizzy. I mean, it looked, probably looks very frizzy to many people, but in my opinion, it's not too bad. Um, the back, I haven't done maintenance for years, except for maybe one or two dreads. Um, just trying to make, make, make some knots. Uh, there's a pretty new dread... Uh, I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Here it is. Wow. This one is tiny. It probably just looks like loose hair to you. I don't know if you can see that. Comes out. Uh, that's tiny. That's new. That's really new. Um, I have a lot of new growth on the top of my head. That's perfectly fine with me because people that get their hair done constantly will have you know you can see the scalp I'm not the biggest fan of that although some people say it looks nicer so here's another new dread that probably formed six-ish months ago about maybe more maybe eight maybe nine I don't know I'm not very good at keeping track of time so that's a pretty new one um, and the other third newest is it might be I guess it has to be this one. That. If you can see it. Yeah, of course you can see that. That's a long one. So that's kind of... That's about a year or so. But that's pretty long. For a year or so. Maybe two. I don't know. I'll have to look back at my other videos and find out whenever it started forming. Um, I shower again. Whenever my head gets... Right whenever I can tell it's about to get itchy. Which usually is... It's honestly like two days now because I'm like rock climbing quite a bit. Uh, yeah, another side comment. I might start making like rock climbing videos once I start actually climbing real mountains. I'm right now just in the gym trying to get better. And uh, a couple weekends ago, I was supposed to go rock climbing. Didn't end up doing it. Uh, the person that was going to lead us, uh, he had to go to town. So we'll be climbing a real mountain soon and I will be taking my GoPro for that because it'll be my first time and it'll be very exciting for me. Um... <clears throat> So back to the dreads. Uh, how long are they? I honestly don't think you can see how long they are. All right, so I did get a chair. I feel kind of weird standing all the way up here, honestly. But I uh, hope this shows how long my hair is. It's about almost, yeah, to my belt. So let's move this chair out of the way. And, um, 
I don't know where I left off because uh, the camera died, the battery died whenever I went to go get a chair and yeah, so I don't really know what I was saying. Uh, all I know is that I was trying to show you how long my hair was. I haven't measured any of them, but they are much longer than, you know, the uh, length of my arm is tall, if you can still see that, I don't know if you can, but yeah, they're all very long, I love them, and like actually just now, whenever I went to go get the chair, of course I went and looked at what my hair looked like, because I didn't have a mirror before whenever I took my hair out of my uh, makeshift ponytail, um, and yeah, I don't know man, like having dreads is really nice. Especially on the days that you can make yourself look nice. I guess today is another day where I feel a little bit better. You know, they say uh, if you dress well, you feel well. I don't know what the saying is, but I know that there's a saying like that. Um, I'm just trying to think of a couple other things that I should have, should be talking about. Uh, you can see I have a lot of loose hair. I know I said that already, I think. Um, no maintenance. Uh, no product in my dreads. I just use Dr. Bronner's. Uh, recently what I've been doing is taking an old Dr. Bronner's bottle and filling it about halfway up with the soap and just filling it full of water. And then as I use it and it gets halfway empty again, I fill it again full of water. So they last you pretty long. Um, and then at that point I squirt it into a cup, just shake it up. I mean, I just use a small cup without like even like a lid. I just put my hand over it, kind of shake it. And, uh, you know, it gets all bubbly, pour it onto my head, rub that around. I'll kind of let it sit in while I'm showering. Um, I feel like it's better for the scalp. I did have a lot of issues with having like an itchy scalp if I don't shower enough. And I would say totally watch out for that because I mean, it's just not good for your scalp. It's not good for your hair. Uh, it can cause weak spots. Um, I don't really know what else, uh, but it just, recommended to wash your hair as soon as you feel any type of itchiness which sometimes I'm not even the best at. I'll be like oh I can go one more day without washing it and then if I do go that extra day it's like shoot I should have just washed it and that's I could I could say that that is part of why I wanted to cut my dreads was not necessarily because of the itchiness but the factor of um, showering is kind of annoying because washing these dreads, they get so heavy and then they hurt. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but then that means I have to have my hair tied up or something. And if they're down, which I never let that happen, because then, yes, it will hurt. Just full of water, just sitting there, constantly pouring on your head. Um, hair dryer works pretty well. Um, I usually leave a towel and just, you know, that'll soak up a lot of water. And... I don't know. But why don't I just stop the video there? If I ever think of something else, I'll throw another video up because why not have more videos? If you want to watch, watch them. If you don't want to watch, don't watch. All right, thanks YouTube for watching my videos. Uh, I did get a lot of support actually recently whenever I was talking about cutting my dreads off in a couple of comments. So that's really cool to, to get some feedback from other people. And uh, let me know what you think. And let me know if you're planning on getting dreads. Uh, I can answer some questions that you have. Thanks. Bye-bye.